Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, this definitely has to be an actual connection. You feel like you have somebody. You have with somebody, whether you're together or not. Um, they have to, you definitely um, have to know each other in some way and you feel it's a connection. If you are single though, I also do offer a singles reading every month. So all the December readings are out and I'll be working on the singles uh, February, uh, did I say December? I meant January. Um, I'm working on February uh, readings now. So please feel free to check that out if you like to. Just, um, I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of readings, so sorry. But um, links to your playlist are below in the description box. So your generals and your loves are down there. So please feel free to check that out and lots of stuff down there how to reach out for personal reading decks i'm using social media how to tip or donate or send a gift if you'd like to all that information's below so please feel free to check that out so welcome in aries hope everybody's doing well hope you had a great christmas having a great new year all right so this is for aries sun moon rising or venus Let's see what's going on with love at this time. I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So feel free to check out all your readings. Something resonates in a title. I'd say watch it anyway. Okay, Aries. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. And you may or may not be dealing with whatever comes out here. Totally, totally fine. Rest of the reading could be for you or at least parts of it. So we have Saturn here, which is Capricorn. And Saturn is all about ambitions and goals and uh, security, lessons and challenges. So that kind of energy. So that could have to do with your reading or you could just be dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe they have it in their sun, moon, rising or Venus in some way. And the Capricorn energy does represent the devil and the tarot. So I don't know if that has... Um, that will have anything to do with your reading here, but okay. So there may be something in this relationship, which is, could be a challenge or there could just be lessons in this, um, relationship. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do here with this deck, uh, Aries is I'm going to pull an overall love energy, love connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. See what's going on. Can we have an overall energy for Aries and their person at this time? Thank you. And we have compassion, which is two, which is about unity, people coming together, showing compassion. Compassion towards one another, compassion towards the connection. It's a nice energy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't ask yet. So what I'm going to do now, um, Aries, is I'm going to put you here and your person here. But if you feel at any time throughout this reading that the energies have switched or they need to be flip-flop, please do that anytime you feel you need to and only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't resonate, then it's not your reading. Um, so let's see. I'm going to get how you are feeling about each other and the connection. So I'll put you there, Aries, and your person here. So let's see how you're feeling, Aries. So we have intention which is 11 and 11 is being like on the right divine spiritual path, being divinely led in the right direction, intention. So setting your intentions, uh, making your intentions known, um, make sure your intentions are being in a loving, compassionate energy and, a, you know, having positive intentions, good intentions. So let's see what your person has here. So we have hidden blessings, 26, which is eight which is about action, movement, travel. So hidden blessings here, compassion, intention. Hmm, I'm not getting any negative energy yet, like with that Saturn, with the devil, Capricorn energy. So um, it could be just this, uh, just lessons in, you know, very secure connection here, full of compassion. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Answers within, 19, which is 10. Tens are about endings, but there's always a new beginning. So going within, answers within, finding your way in your light. That definitely reminds me of the Hermit card um, kind of energy. All the Four of Swords kind of energy. Like really going within and saying, okay, what are my intentions? What are their intentions? 
What are the blessings in this connection? Showing compassion, peace, harmony, coming into unity with that two there and one and one that is two also. So I don't know, we'll see what's going on here for you, Aries. So we're going to clarify with the tarot here. We'll pull some energy around this energy, and then we'll look at the actual situation, advice for the connection, and possible outcome of the connection. And then we'll pull some closing messages with the other oracle um, deck over here. So as I said, if you're interested in the decks I'm using, they are listed below in the description box. So let's see what's going on, Aries. So thank you, Aries, to everybody who supported the channel. Whichever way you support it, if you've tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading, or a new subscriber, couldn't do without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right. Some energy there, energy there. All right, let's see what's going on. Stress, worry, anxiety over here in the Three of Pentacles working together. So I feel like this side over here is a little stressed, anxious, stressed, nervous about how is this going to work out? How are we going to work this out together? How is this going to move forward kind of energy? Will this move forward? Will this come together? Will we work it out? Hmm. Hidden blessings here. So juggling on this side. <laughs> wow. So... <laughs> Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So needing to make a peaceful decision here and needing to make change to find balance. So this person's a little indecisive about peace, about their own inner peace, what changes need to be made, how to balance this out. And this person over here is stressed and worried about will this work out, will this move forward? But, I mean, they do have the energy of blessings here, hidden blessings and over here, we do have intentions. So I think this side's stressed and worried about this side's true intentions. You know, what are they going to decide? How are they really feeling? This side over here feels like, I feel like knows the other person is a hidden blessing, is a blessing. But they're still indecisive about this and trying to find balance within themselves. You know, how can we work this out? How can we move this forward? How can I work them into my life kind of energy? Trying to find answers within. I think both energies here are trying to find answers within. Hmm. Oh, need to practice compassion. All right. So let's see. Let's see what the actual situation is here for you, Aries. So we have the Ten of Wands. So needing to lay down burdens here. That's about an ending. Two of Wands, though, making plans and decisions for the future. So this is on your side. So you may have uh, gone through something here and laid down heavy burdens that were no longer serving you. Maybe they had you. Maybe it, maybe it was work, had you stressed out, nervous and anxious. You know, maybe you work a lot and you're wondering, you know, how am I going to work this person into my life? You know, uh, maybe the, they may have your intentions all wrong because um, they see that you work a lot. So maybe they're feeling. You, you think they're feeling that your intentions are more about work and not them, but I don't think that's the case. So I feel here though, finally laying down the heavy burdens and now making plans and decisions for the future moving forward. Like, okay, you know, work too much. It's got me stressed, worried, nervous, anxious about also my connection here. Nine of Wands. So yeah, fighting for it, fighting for it here. Strength, very strong bond. Wanting to fight for it. The Empress here falling out. Emperor Empress doesn't matter. Breath of something new. Value, worth, um, stability, growth, expansion. Hmm. And strength. Wow. So now we got strength here. We got strength over here with the Nine of Wands. So very strong, strong energies here. A lot of fiery, passionate energy over here. And that could be definitely your uh, energy, Aries. You know, I feel like you finally lay down something no longer serving you. And I feel like it was like work, like you overwork, you work too much, maybe you work two jobs, so two here. So now it's like, you know what? I want to fight for this connection. Um, I'm worn out, I'm tied from working too much or however it means for you or whatever you got going on in your life. You're going within here and knowing, you know, do I 
want this connection or do I just want to work for the rest of my life? So now you're going to lay down what's oppressing you so you can make plans and decisions and fight for what you want with the Knight of Wands. Or this is your person, whatever that means for you. But on this side, somebody finally is making a decision here. They're, you know, taking control. They're making changes. And now they've gained their strength. And now they're in this Emperor Empress energy of knowing their value, their worth, what they want, being in charge, and uh, having that dignity, willpower, and drive to go after what they want is here. Both of you know, you I feel like wanting now to fight for this connection, wanting it to come together. There is there are hidden blessings here. Making intentions known, showing love and compassion towards each other, finding the answers from within. So let's get advice for this. So the fool advice is here to so take the leap of faith with this person, taking a new start, resetting at zero. Four of cups. So yeah, feeling you no know, bored. You're feeling bored, complacent, and blah because maybe you just work, 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 work all the time. You're ready for something new. Seven of swords. So energy here. And that could be about just sneaking away out of something, like turning your back on it and just getting out of it. You know, it could be, you know, working too much and just turning your back on that and saying, nope, I'm getting out of here. I don't care how I do it. Death, so re death, rebirth here. So yeah, ending, ending something no longer serving you, turning your back on that, that makes you feel bored, complacent, and blah. So you can have a reset, a restart, jumping right in with the full energy. Death, rebirth here, Scorpio judgment brings the two soulmates together. Forgiveness, healing energy, resurrection, making a final decision to turn you back on something here that is just, I feel like just boring, just boring. And now resetting and ready to be swept up in like a whirlwind here and ready for a new start, leap of faith. The sun is shining on this happiness and joy. So let's see what the possible outcome is here for you, Aries. And you know, Aries, you are the emperor in the tarot deck, which is a leader, a boss, someone in charge. So you could actually own your own business. You could be a supervisor, a boss, a leader, or something like that. Maybe you have a lot of responsibility or even work two jobs. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. I just fell out. I can't make it up. Yeah, walking away from too much responsibility here in that emperor position, being the boss, a leader in charge, having so much responsibility. Now finally deciding to walk away from that energy is a possible outcome. It's you or them, however this resonates for you, Aries. So let's get one more for the possible outcome. The moon. So, you know, you're walking towards the moon here. You don't see, you know, you don't really know exactly, you know, how this is going to go, where this is going to lead, how it's going to work out um, for the future. But the sun is here shining brightly on you, though you may not see it right now because your back is turned. So you're walking away from something no longer serving you. You can't see the path clearly. You're not sure what's going to happen. Um, but you have deep feelings about this. But the sun is here to say that there will be nothing but a positive outcome by going in this direction, however it fits, if it's you or your person. Deep feelings and emotions here with the moon energy, intuitive energy, knowing it's the right thing to do. You will see the light eventually. Sun always comes up after, the, you know, after night. We got the sun there. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Sorrow, three of swords. Yeah, hurt, pain, sorrow. But having truth and clarity that I know how to get myself out of this heartbreak and sorrow, third party can be overworking, working too much because you have work right there, works. And maybe it's not a good energy where you work either because you have cruelty right next to work. So in dominion and oppression. So it's like, you know what? I have truth and clarity. I'm ready for a brand new beginning, success and victory. Uh, cutting away those things no longer serving me. Tell it like it is, standing up for myself. Cutting away that garbage. 
the universe here, the world is closing out chapters, no longer serving you, starting fresh, starting new. To happiness and joy and wish fulfillment. Possibly to commitment, faith, spirituality, hope, um, doing what's moral, just and right, values, structure, commitment here. To the Queen of Cups here, love, emotions, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy, healing, peaceful, calm energy. The Queen of Cups, love and emotions could be committed here. Having wish fulfillment, joy, and happiness. Closing out what's no longer serving you. Starting fresh is with the full energy. Having that clarity and that new start, new beginning. Away from this hurt energy, whether it's a job or working too much or whatever your situation is. Wow, Aries. So, okay. So, let's see what we have for the signs here. We have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Taurus. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, let's see. We have... Leo, I believe that was the Empress, so that is Libra Taurus, um, let's see here, we have Aquarius, we have Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, Aries, that's your energy, so those are the signs that are other signs I see besides Capricorn, all right, Aries, so I'm get some closing messages here for you out of this deck, so I do ask uh, Aries, if you're new and you like my channel, how I read, Please check out my channel. You like what you see? Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings right now. If you're familiar with my channel, I do offer a love connection reading like this, a singles reading, a uh, general tarot forecast, and I also do a spiritual reading such as messages from your angels or your spirit guides or something like that. And I also just started a weekly element energy reading called Love, Life, and Advice. Depending on how the generals go and the spiritual goes and the weekly goes, I may discontinue those and just focus on bi-monthly love connection and singles. But if you do like the other readings, if you're familiar with my channel, please leave comments below. Let me know what you think as those other readings aren't really getting views. So I'd rather give you guys what you enjoy than doing readings that nobody's watching. So, okay. So, Aries. Let's get some closing messages from this deck. Let's get one more, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck. All right, so we have Our Lady of the Sacred Sun, which is 15, which is 6, which is about, again, going into the more healing balance in place. So this Lady of the Sacred Sun, this is the Mary uh, Mother Mary deck, so she actually was mother of the Divine Masculine, which was Jesus. So this is about coming into your divine masculine, divine feminine energy, coming into divine energy. So this could be divine counterparts here. And then we have Our Lady of Radiant Grace, 33. So you may want to look up angel number 33, but that is definitely uh, working together. Six is about healing, balance energy again. So Our Lady of Radiant Grace, I just want to read um, a little bit about that. Just a tiny bit. The descendant of my grace changes everything. Your body, your mind, your soul are brought to life in, the, in new ways. And freedom opens up to you. Can you release your familiarity with an attachment to old ways of being? Can you release your expectation of enslavement and control? And that's funny because we have um, control right there. Wow. You are my child. When you place your trust in me, I allow no one to harm you, no thing to confine your spirit. You are free to live wildly and expansively. There shall be no prison for your soul. Beloved of mine, your soul shall be in love with the earth and fly free. So that's just radiant grace of, of, the, of <laughs> the world, of spirit, of energy, being uh, in that grace. Wow, okay. Very graceful connection here also. And then we have Our Lady of Promise, which is eight, about action, travel, communication, eight. So this could be a very promising connection. You could have promised to be in each other's lives in this life before you even came onto, you know, the 3D world. You know, you could have had a contract with this person uh, before you came into this lifetime, like a promise to one another. And that's a divine masculine, divine feminine energy with the sacred sun. 
So let's see what's on the bottom bottom of the deck. Our Lady of Nourishment, 34, which is 7. 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So nourishment, you know, don't forget to take care of yourselves. Um, as over here, if you're overworking too much, make sure you're taking care of yourself. And really nourishing yourself and nourishing this connection, nourishing each other, having that compassion, that peace, that harmony between one another. And I see this going into a good place. If somebody can leave behind um, something, it, it, I feel like it's like overworking or it could be anything here um, in needing to make change so that this can come together. And this person over here too is a little indecisive. But I feel like they finally make up their mind and it's ready for this. And I feel like the soulmates come together here with the um, judgment card. Because you do have, you did have the Ace of Swords there. So it's a brand new beginning. Success and victory. Very strong connection here also. Wow, Aries. Okay, Aries. So I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.